Hi, I'm Catherine and like all of my colleagues at MaxiZoo, I am trained in pet care and nutrition. We've made this video this evening to talk to you about greeting other people and their dogs politely while you're walking your dog. Making sure that you can greet people politely is important because not everybody enjoys a cuddle from your dog, however cute you may think they are. Some people are nervous or even frightened of dogs, especially those they don't know. Firstly, we're going to have a look at this clip in which we'll demonstrate how not to greet a person for the first time. You'll notice how Freya is pulling ahead of Esther. She's a good three or four steps behind the dog, which means she doesn't have very much control. As she approaches the person, there's no slowdown in speed and no attempt to ask the dog to sit or lie down. As a consequence, the dog has now jumped on the guest and you have a bit of a situation. In our second clip, we'll show you how to do this a better way. We'll retain more control of the dog and we'll show you how to keep control of the situation so that the meeting is enjoyable for both parties. As you can see, Freya is walking nicely beside Esther. As they approach the guest, she'll stop a safe distance away and ask Freya to sit or lie down. Once the people have greeted, it's now time for the guest to invite Freya to interact and you'll see them stroke her. In this manner, the greeting has been controlled by the dog owner and so everyone is safe and happy. It is a big ask to ask your dogs to greet other dogs politely especially if they don't know the dog or if the dog, your dog, is excited or if the oncoming dog is excited. It can very quickly escalate into an unpleasant situation. So it's important that you are aware at all times of what your dog is doing. Right now we're going to have a look at a clip of how not to greet another dog when you're out walking with your dog. You'll notice how both dogs are pulling ahead of their walkers paying very little attention to what the walker is doing and the walker is paying no attention to what their dog is doing. The walkers have walked too close together resulting in a tangling of leads and also it means that they can't ask their dogs to quietly sit or lie down because their dogs are very much caught up. As a result of this absolutely unruly situation the dogs are overexcited and have had a little dispute. Now we're going to have a look at how this situation could have been handled in a better way for everybody involved. As you'll see, the dogs are closer to their owners so that the owners have more control. Again, the owners will stop a safe distance apart and ask their dog to either sit or lie down, allowing the people to greet without interruption. Now that the people have greeted, it's time to interact with the dogs if you wish. Remember when you're teaching your dog to greet another person or another dog, it is a big event for them. If your dog is really excited, when you start practicing, maybe get a volunteer who knows your dog so that they're not intimidated and your dog isn't too excited to meet them. As you begin, you might want to work from maybe six foot away from the person and look for a sit or a down at this point instead of close beside them as we were in the video. If you need more help when it comes to teaching your dog sit or down, check out our videos on teaching sit or down. You'll find the links below. And if you'd like more help on walking your dog politely, why not ask any member of our staff in your nearest Maxi Zoo store. I'm Catherine and thank you for watching this evening. Remember, if you need any more advice, you can pop into your nearest store or check out our website, www.maxizoo.ie.